Good afternoon, social media land. It is your boy, Victor L. Carrington, coming to you once again live. I wanted to talk to you briefly because I just saw a video uh, not too long ago where President Obama pardoned 61 inmates. I think that was a very nice thing to do. And not only did he do that, he took it a step further. He wanted to talk to these inmates, these ex-inmates, and he wanted to get to know them. I think that was absolutely spectacular. You know, hats off to President Obama for doing that. He took them to lunch. They had conversation. He got to know a little bit about them. And I am positive that gave them a lot of encouragement knowing that someone in his powerful position was able to, you know, wanted to take the moment to actually come down to do this for them, but to interact with them. That's something we have not ever seen, you know, that I'm aware of. And now we have Hillary Clinton, who is, you know, pretty much banning the box. Hillary Clinton if that is true, that's great. But remember, your husband, Bill Clinton, and I love Bill Clinton, but Bill Clinton helped strengthen that box with the mass incarceration piece. So in order for us to ban the box, which is, you know, a wonderful idea, we have to reach those lawmakers. And for me, coming into this from my perspective of being a once convicted, being a convicted felon, um, you know, yes, reducing recidivism is great, and I think that's what we need to do. However, if you are serious about this, then let's dig our heels in and get to work on reducing that recidivism and banning that box. I'm not saying that everyone needs to come home, but I'm saying that people that have done their time should come home, and people that's home, we need to figure out ways that we can get them employed, keep them employed, without having that system foot on your back, so to speak. Now, from my perspective, I know where there are situations where when people come home, they don't have an opportunity to, su to succeed because society say you need to pay your debt. Well, when is your debt ever paid? I can speak from my experience. My crime was almost 24 years ago and it still holds me back from certain things. So when is my debt ever paid? Will it ever be paid is a more appropriate question because if it's never going to be paid, then at least say so and don't make me feel like I have hope in all the things that I've done. Now, yes, I've been home almost over 16 years and I've been very successful, thankful to God for that. But now I'm reaching back to help my brothers and sisters of whatever race that are coming home to be successful, if not more than me, as much as me, because we need to do that. In order for us to do that, we need legislature, we need government, we need politicians, we need you all to implement free entry programs, and we need you to help us with this because it's not just us, it's your families as well. Incarceration touches everyone. So it's not just a specific race or a specific group, it's everyone. And if you're really serious about banning the box, Hillary, then let's come together and let's figure out how we can do that where everybody across the board will have the equal chance and opportunities for success and to stay out of prison once they are home from prison. That is my goal. It is my ultimate goal uh, with my book, Just When You Thought You Knew Me. I talk about my prison experiences growing up uh, with uh, having been introduced into the life of crime by my mother, who, uh, when I was six years old, put a pack of pork chops in my jacket in a grocery store and told me to follow her out of the store. I didn't ask to be a menace. This is just something that the destiny that I, I guess I was given. But now that I am on the other side of the track, I'm on the right side, I'm doing what I can to help my fellow brothers and sisters uh, when they come home to be as fortunate and blessed and prosperous as I have been. So um, we've got to get this recidivism right now. Let's do it. Let's dig in, put our elbows into it, and let's just do it. Thank you.